Today we are going to talk about phases of matter. Physical changes of matter in terms of the arrangement and motion of atoms and molecules. What does it mean when we say matter? Now that we've talked about the different phases, solid, liquid, gas, we're going to talk about how matter transitions from one phase to another phase. A solid can become a liquid or a liquid can become a gas. The main thing to remember is that transition from one phase to another requires energy, energy either needs to be added or removed. What is a phase change? Phase change is a change from one state of matter, solid, liquid, gas, to another. Phase changes are physical changes because, it only affects physical appearance, not chemical makeup. What happens during a phase change? During a phase change, heat energy is either absorbed or released. Heat energy is released as molecules slow down and move closer together. Heat energy is absorbed as molecules speed up and expand. Energy is either absorbed or released during a phase change. Endothermic reaction occurs if the system absorbs energy from its surroundings, energy goes in. Examples, baking bread, producing sugar by photosynthesis, and evaporation of water. Exothermic reaction occurs if the system releases energy to its surroundings, energy goes out. Exo, think of exit. Examples of exothermic are making ice cubes, condensation, nuclear fission, and rusting iron. In the previous lesson, you were able to explain the properties of solids, liquids, and gases based on the particle nature of matter. You were also able to identify and describe the classification of matter based on its physical state, solids, liquids, and gases. Lastly, you differentiated the structure of solids, liquids, and gases based on its shape and molecular arrangement, mass and volume. We find matter in three different phases. Are there some things that we can describe about solid? The shape of a solid stays the same and its volume, or the spaces takes up, stays the same. What are some examples of solids? Point to one in the room. Can anyone name another phase? If something is in a solid, what could it be? What is an example of a liquid? What are some things that we can describe about liquids? Liquid change shape, but they keep the same volume, meaning they take up the same amount of space. There's one more phase of matter. Does anyone know what it is? It is a gas. Can anyone point to a gas in the room? What are some things that describe gases? Gases change their shape and change their volume, the space that they take up. For example, when you blow into a balloon, the gas from your lungs is filling the balloon and making it expand. Examples of gases are oxygen and carbon dioxide. Why ice turns into puddles of water in a hot day? Our scientists especially our chemists classify changes as either physical changes or chemical changes. They also learn a lot about the nature of matter by studying the changes how it shifts. They also even learn how to tell the different distinction between the two types. Physical change is a type of change which involve change in size face and appearance of matter, without changing its chemical composition. What happens when matter changes state? Solid, liquid and gases can be changed from its different state. There are six common changes in state. 1. Melting, 2. Freezing, 3. Condensation, 4. Vaporization, 5. Sublimation, and 6. Deposition. All matter is made of tiny particles that are in constant motion. During a change of state, the motion of the particles changes. When a material condition changes, the properties change as well. This is unsurprising, however once the state changes reverse, the substance goes back to its original properties neatly. Do you know the difference between evaporation and boiling? Boiling takes place when the liquid particles gains enough energy to overcome the forces holding them together and move apart to form a gas. Evaporation is a physical process that changes a liquid into a gas. It only occur when an exposed surface of a liquid absorbs enough energy to pull away from the liquid and turn into a gas. Both are when substance transform from liquid into a gas. Think of a boiling point of water and all of the water bubbles. The water level decrease because of all the particles have enough energy to convert into gaseous state. But water standing in a pond that is not being heated by anything other than the environment can also turn into a gas. This is evaporation. Only the particles at the surface have enough energy to change from a liquid to a gas. Hence evaporation is a slower process than boiling, even though it achieves the same state. Both are types of vaporization. Opposite of this vaporization processes is condensation. Condensation is the transition from a gas to a liquid. For example, think of a cold can of soda on a hot day. You will notice a water droplets created on the outside. We also have dew on the grass every morning. 
steam up mirror after a hot bath. Even the formation clouds in the sky or a foggy windscreen in a car. These are all example of condensation. Condensation takes place when the gas particles loses energy, and move close together to reform the liquid structure. Water vapor in the air has cooled down to form liquid droplets of water. Do you know about the transitions between solids to liquids? They are melting and freezing. Think of the Arctic sea ice. In the summer when air temperatures are warmer more heat energy is absorbed by the ice, this causes bonds to break between the ice water molecules and the ice starts to melt. The solid ice becomes liquid water. But in the winter the air temperatures are colder and so sea water freezes and the ice starts to form again. Melting takes place when the particles in a solid absorbs enough energy to overcome the forces holding them in fixed position, and rearrange themselves to form a liquid, while in freezing it takes place when the liquid particles loses energy to rearrange themselves to form back the solid structure. For example, when an ice cube melts it takes on a new shape as it absorbs the ability to flow. Its composition on the other hand remain unchanged. When we put the melted ice cube back in the fridge it returns to a solid state because of the temperature. Again, the composition remains the same. Sublimation only occurs when the particles of a solid absorb enough energy to completely overcome the force of attraction between them. The most common example of a solid that undergoes sublimation is a dry ice, mothballs or naphthalene balls in bathroom air fresheners. But did you know that sometimes gases can turn straight into solid when cold? This is called deposition. Deposition is the process in which gas changes directly to a solid without going to the liquid state. Farmers in Pai, Atok, woke up to find light frost on their cabbage patches and other crops, as the temperature dropped to 9 degrees Celsius. This cold spell is due to the northeast monsoon or Amihan, cold air from Siberia that starts in October and reaches its peak this time of the year. Root Changes in matter are deliberately done to help man improve his life. Phase changes in present-day technology includes refrigerators and freezers in the operation of cold storage rooms as a cooling agent. Geothermal power plant used to power turbine generators producing electricity.